I guess we'll find out. Eh, where are we? Who are you? Oh, dang. Well, this isn't exactly where we were trying to get to, but... I mean, it is where we were trying to get to, but we not what we were currently at that moment trying to accomplish. Where the hell did that flying guy go? What's your business? Huh? Well, you see... We were chasing a thief. Ah, no, that's not... I mean, yeah, we were. We, we came to see you, Lord Ridley. Please, talk about... Talk to us about what happened. Even you, Lord Garland. I understand. I'll take you at your word, Lord Garland. Last night, one of our patrols spotted a suspicious character. They gave chase, but unfortunately, the person got away. But while running away, he dropped a secret communique between the Emperor's General Kiba and your Lord Makai. And what did it say? It was a secret treaty. Did you know about this, Fitcher? I don't know a thing. Remember, I'm still new here. Hmm, that's true. Anyway, the secret treaty was a peace agreement between Two River and Highland. That's great news for us as well as them. What do you mean, great news? As a condition, the treaty gives possession of the Cobalt District to those Highland scum. Yeah, well then clearly that was not meant to be the case. That's ridiculous. Lord Mackay would never accept conditions like that. All I know is that I can no longer trust humans. I saw one scrap of paper, and now that's all I need to know to throw away any and all alliances I may have formed. I'm good at my job. I have nothing more to say. Now, <clears throat> now go away before you get hurt. Or rather, before things get... rough. I mean, that's what the enemy wants, you know. They're just trying to sow deception. You may be right, but what if you're wrong? As Cobalt leader, my foremost duty is to protect my people. And if that's at the detriment of everyone else to the point of which we ununify our forces, therefore making us all incredibly weaker and all of us die horribly as, as a result, well, at least I have my stubborn pride. Let's go back, Lord Garland. We've got no time to argue. Now, well, at least we poofed all the way back over. That's good. Something strange is going on. If this is the enemy's plot, we're in big trouble. We gotta do something. Indeed. Oh, we're still toasty. Okay. Part of me wants to continue the story. Another part of me desperately wants to get over to that bath maker before this thing wears off. <laughs> I have conflicting ideals. Alright, we just gotta talk to what's-his-face. Oh, well, that's a bad sign. Well then, we look toward we look forward to a favorable response from you. I will think about it. I knew I could count on the two river that word again to be sensible. After all, we don't want a war either. Except you totally do, that's definitely what you want. Excuse me, I must be going. Father, please wait a moment. You are Lord Garland, leader of the Unicorn Army, aren't you? Technically. My name is Kloss, tactician for the Third Royal Highland Company. I look forward to meeting you on the battlefield. As a fellow soldier, I salute you and wish you luck. Farewell. Bizarre level of respect to be had there. Sorry about that. That's Garland, the man who beat Solon G? Yes, I think we can count on him to be a challenging opponent. I look forward to it. So they anticipate battle, then. Lord Mackay, who was that? Oh, that was General Kiba of the Highland Army. He came to Two River to offer a peace treaty. A peace treaty? So it's true. Hey, stupid humans! Stupid, stupid, stupid! It's an enemy plot! If you believe them, you're as stupid as you look! Okay, on one hand, I understand that the incoming racism towards the kid is going to be unjustified, but at the same time, this kid is an asshole and I don't like him and I wouldn't listen to him either. You... Okay, see, now it's in quotation marks. It feels very much like a slur. I'm not saying that anymore. They're so full of it. No, we're not. You're the ones who are full of it. Now shut up as I rob you all. You're just squatters in this town. Keep your mouths closed. Bah! Do whatever you want. Give me my wallet back! Lord Garland, Fitcher, did you go see Lord Ridley? You know it. Yes, you see. Let's head to the assembly hall. We can talk here, or there, or wherever. Okay, I'm gonna get right on that. But I don't know how much longer this toastiness is going to last. I need to make it back over ASAPO. Just need to hope that an enemy doesn't decide to attack me. Okay, fine then. Ugh, I don't have time for this. Bribe! 
I'm not happy about giving money away to what I think were weird bird monsters. But I don't know if I'm ever going to get another chance at this. And I want to try to recruit everybody I possibly can. There, look how toasty I am. Hey, that's a nice clean looking face you got there. Thanks, I got it from eating tacos. You look all toasty, just like you came out of the bath. I mean, I didn't. So what do you want? You like baths? But of course. Really? That's great. I knew it. My name is Tetsu, and I make baths. Lately, with all this war going on, my baths are getting broken faster than I can make them. So how about it? You want me to make some custom baths for your place? Sure. Okay, just leave it to me. <laughs> there you go. I've commissioned you. Go make, go make a bunch of baths. So where's your house? Botten Castle? Oh, you mean near there, eh? Good. I'm looking forward to it. By the time you get home, there'll be a beautiful new bath waiting for you. That guy's got a weird problem. Is that the same guy as from the first game who had an obsession with baths? Is it possible? I mean, I've been meeting a lot of characters from the first game, so it's, it seems possible. No. Anyway, since I'm here, might as well actually use the inn. Seeing as how we're actually in quite a, quite a bit of a need for some extra healths. Oh, looks like the toasty wore off. It did! Okay, see? Okay, I'm guessing that had to do with, you know, staying at the inn. But still. Man, that taco had a long-lasting effect. Holy crap. <laughs> and some spicy tacos. Hey, Mario, what happened to my spaghetti tacos? Where did that even come from? I don't know, but it made me laugh. And sometimes that's all you can hope for in life. Yo, Colonel Stupid, you realize you're going to be, like, walking into a trap and probably going to die horribly, right? Lord Garland, how did it go? Well, you see, fade to black, fade from black. Hmm, I see. I don't know what to think about that. In any case, we don't have to worry about that, no. Lord Kiba came to sign a peace treaty. You know, this whole thing started when they broke a peace treaty, right? That's the enemy's strategy. The Highland Army wants to destroy the state. They're not really interested in a peace treaty. Don't be silly. If that were true, why would General Kiba risk his life by coming to Two River alone? He didn't. He came with a tactician and at least six soldiers behind him. In order to drive a wedge between the humans and the kobolds, of course. Once Lord Ridley learns that Lord Mackay has had a meeting with General Kiba, he'll be even more suspicious. Be serious. This is a great chance that we mustn't pass up. The Kobolds don't trust us, and the Wingers are no use either. Given the position we're in, we should be grateful to sign this treaty and buy ourselves some time. This guy is going to die. You are a very stupid man. Fitcher, you may leave. Lord Garland, thank you for your help up to this point. Tomorrow, I'll meet General Kiba again to sign the peace treaty. Yeah, that's definitely what's going to happen. Unfortunately, it seems I won't be able to assist the Unicorn Army as we discussed. Please forgive me. You're a painfully stupid man. The Highland Army is out there, so you can't leave Two River at this time. Please stay in your room at the New Leaf Inn. Great, and I'm trapped in here, so I can't even leave when they are going to ambush the place. Good times. Lord Garland, it's no good. We can't protect Two River such as we are. What else can we do? Yeah. Not you again. Yeah, my wallet. Garland. Granny wants to meet you. There, I told him. Lord Garland, what do we do? Divided like we are, we don't stand a chance even if he, the reinforcements do come on time. Reinforcements? Forgive me, Lord Garland. I I had a bad feeling about this, so I already sent a letter to Lord Shu requesting aid. And I thought Lord Shu would understand the situation and send reinforcements quickly. Uh, sorry, I didn't tell you. Sometimes my premonitions are wrong and just cause more trouble, but this time it looks like I was right. Okay, so I guess we just have to stall and then a bunch of other, you know, all of our friends will come back. Anyway, something about a granny wanting to see me? Get out of the way, you. Do I look like I've got time for random old people? You're late, Garland. Granny's house is this way. Yeah, I'm real late. It's been like a whole minute and a half since you told me to show up. Alright, I guess this is what's happening now. You're Lord Garland, yes? I am Susu, Great Wing of the Winged Horde. That means leader in your language. We speak different language? Please come inside. Can I have my money back? No, okay. I, I guess I just need to give up on that. First, let me humbly apologize for my grandson. He will be punished and he will return what he has stolen. Somehow I doubt that. 
Lord Garland, could you please show me your right palm? Wait, is it on the back of my hand or the palm of my hand? Either way, that's a weird... Man, in the palm of your hand? That's a really awkward place to have a rune. Holding things has got to be difficult. This is the second time in my life I've seen it. Long ago, I saw it shining from afar on the hand of Lord Genkaku. Apparently, everybody knew this guy. Long ago, we lived in the forests of Tinto. But then they took our land. They punctured it with holes that they call strip mines. It was Lord Genkaku who invited us to come to this new land. But after his good name was dirtied by the state, once again, we began to be mistreated by the humans. I don't even understand it. Why are people so, like, adamant about being awful to each other? I mean... The kobolds are dog men. So, I mean, like, there's, there's... Uh, you're just humans with wings on your back. There's, like, even less of a difference than this kind of stuff you'd see in the real world. I guess you got bird feet. I guess my point is, I don't understand racism. <laughs> I don't understand how it's a thing. In video games or in real life, it makes no sense to me. Use your power to save us, to save Two River, and to save the state. By the power of that rune and by the hand of destiny, I know you have the power. Just as Lord Kankaku had the power, much like He-Man had the power. Much like that one song about having the touch, they have the power. We've talked long and dusk draws near. Lord Garland, I pray that bad fortune will not soon find its way to your door. Now, is that all? Oh, okay. Madam Susu is the head winger here, so don't be disrespectful towards her. I guess if they call themselves wingers, that must be their name. But why was that one guy talking in quotation marks? Garland, looks like Granny has a lot of faith in you. But I don't. So you're the son of some old hero long ago? Big deal. What does that mean? And I'm not returning your wallet either. I really hate that kid. I have... I... I... I'm finding it difficult to truly express just how much I hate that kid. <sighs> Alright, well, I can't leave town. I've talked to just about anybody I can think of. I guess we just go to the inn. I guess. I don't... I do not actually know, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna do my best. No. Oh, do I actually need to talk to the end guy? Mmm, <laughs> I didn't really have to last time. Oi, get out of the way, lady. Oh, is Mr. Fitcher going to be staying with you today? He may be too late. Tonight could be our last chance to escape. No, as long as there's hope, I'll keep fighting for it. Hmm, well, you've got that going for you, Fitcher. You got that going for you. <sighs> All right, well. Anybody prepared to see fire and death everywhere? Because it's about to happen. Well, well, I guess there are just some people chilling here and here. Did nothing happen yet, or... What exactly am I looking at? Ah, here we go. Lord Kiba, what is this? We're supposed to sign a peace treaty today. Oh, wow, look at that. You've been bamboozled. Lord Makai, a leader really shouldn't be so gullible. B what? You're breaking your promise. Yeah, we've broken several promises since this entire thing began. Which, again, by the way, our first lie and deceit was breaking a peace treaty. What made you think we weren't going to break this one? Damn it all, Lord Garland was right. Yeah, a little late for that, dumbass. I'm in command here, and I will protect Two River even if it means my death. And it will. Too late. All forces advance. Oh, joy among joys. We, we're in deep trouble, Lord Garland. The Unicorn, Ar Unicorn Army isn't here yet either. Nope. Oh, and now we're being attacked. Okay. Well, maybe I don't feel like dealing with you dudes right now. So maybe get yourself some shining light all up in your stupid face. Maybe get some enlightenment all up in here. Up in here, up in here. And that's how you do that. Irradiate a fool, wipe him off the face of the earth. And there we go. I do like that if you can just keep a, <laughs> keep a character alive long enough, they will just catch up in levels just by association. I appreciate that. 
I might actually have to do that with a bunch of the teammates that I know we have that are super underleveled. I just want to see how strong they can get. Like, apparently you can just bring Puda this entire play time? Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they just throw rocks. What should we do? If we don't do something, it's still not too late. Let's talk to Ripley again. I mean, looks like it's really our only option. Onwards! To the Kobolds! Lord Garland. General Ridley, what are you doing? Look, you still think there's a secret treaty? It could all be an act. Really? Besides, at this point... Well, I think that said, are you just going to let the, the town be destroyed, maybe? But... Huh? That voice. Oh, no. Things are gonna get worse. Lord Mackay, it's no good. Thanks to the kobolds, we have nowhere to run. At this rate, we'll be massacred. Two River. Falling to Highland? Our homeland. If only I wasn't such a terrible leader. Not yet, let's go! Really? Freaking Chaco is leading the charge here? But what's this? We'll protect this place, humans. Don't give up the fight. How did this kid go from absolutely despising humans to fighting for with them? That makes no sense. Why are you doing this? Defending this town. And who's that old dude? <laughs> I don't remember talking to him. You still don't get it, eh? Okay, I'll tell you again. This town is our town, too. You don't think so? Well, I was born here. I was raised here. I like... No, I love this town. Why shouldn't I protect it? Still seems like a bit of an about-face personality-wise, but okay, whatever. Ah, you're always so arrogant, and now you're always... You're giving up already. I'm sorry, I'm not all about... I'm, I'm really not going to take lessons in humility from someone whose portrait art it looks like that. You don't know what it means to love this town. We'll protect her all by yourselves. Did you just assume this town's gender? Hmm. Maybe you're right. That was supposed to be a joke, but now I feel like it probably wasn't funny. I apologize. If from our, your point of view, we may be outsiders, but if you love this town so much, we should fight to save her together. General Ridley, can't you see that? It's my duty to save Cobalt lives, but now I'm having a seizure. So you're just going to let everyone die then? This town? That's right, this town. You don't care if this town is defeated? Torn asunder? General, I want to fight. We all love this town. That's right, we want to fight. We can't let those wingers show us up. Woof. Still doesn't sound right to say out loud. Forgive me, it's my fault. I don't know if it were if we're in time, but by my fangs, we'll show them what we've got. Okay, show me your war face. Yeah. Damn, there's too many. They just keep coming. It looks like just us and the winged horde aren't enough. We're here too. Sure, we may have been able to prevent a lot, a massive loss of life had we not had a stick up our asses. But you know what? Whatever. We're here now. Because you can already tell by the dead people walking, you know, just kind of lying around. General Ridley. Lord Mackay, winged horde kids. I was wrong about you. I shouldn't have believed the stories about you. For the honor of the kobolds and the love of Two River, we must protect this place. General Ridley. Lord Garland, thank you. Get them! Everyone attack! That's right, we're gonna protect this town. Wada wada bing bang! The kobolds have joined them, but they've missed their chance. They're ours now. All troops advance. Y'all gonna make me fight another batch of you dudes? Did you not see me use my rune to just literally eradicate their existence from the face of the earth? I use this noise and there ain't even a body left to identify. You have no way of being able to tell which soldiers just died. I didn't even leave scorch marks on the ground. I would highly suggest not doing that. If we leave this land, where would we go? This is our homeland. We will defend it. That's right. This town belongs to all of us. Yeah, let's defend our town. And by do that, I mean you three are just going to stand in the back and do absolutely nothing. Okay. You, you're a stubborn one. Father, what is it, Claus? We're out of time. The Unicorn Army has appeared on our flanks. Also, it appears an army of volunteers from Cobalt Village is coming from the south. Our strategy has failed. We've got to retreat. 
Those lucky fools. I don't know if it would be really luck. Luck isn't all they've got. Garland has the powers to join people's hearts together. I can't hate him. I agree. Well, give the order for all troops to withdraw. Claws, you're in command. Yes, father. <laughs> Son, you take the brunt of this. I'm gonna try and do a s and escape while you man look, you know, everything. And now he's just said, yeah, I'm out. Huh. Well, we I guess we didn't lose as many people as I thought we would have. Look, everyone, they're running away! What a bunch of cowards! Looks like the Unicorn Army came, Lord Garland. Take a look! We saved our town, right, old man? That's right. <laughs> I've decided that's what it sounds like when he laughs. I never get to use that weird-ass laugh enough. <laughs> oh, hey, look! It's Jowie! I just spat all over my monitor, and I didn't mean to do that. Ew. But, but it wasn't carelessness. Are you saying that my army is inferior to the Unicorn Army? I might be. No, I was just... I just think they had a brilliant tactician on their side. Apparently, you're simply not up to the job. Very well, then. I will happily... I will be happy to relieve you of your duties. Lord, Lord Luca. You disgust me. Take him outside and cut his worthless head off. Wow, if you're gonna cut the heads off of every single person I show up, you're not gonna have much of an army by the end of this. Also, again, no, seriously, for the... Jowie, what the actual living hell are you doing there? You you really did just straight up decide to to be a turncoat. That is that is infuriating. I actually kind of hate looking at you. Dying in battle is one thing, but this this is the ultimate disgrace. Yeah, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you decided to be a psychopath or work for a psychopath. But you you enjoyed murdering people. This is what you get. I mean, I'm not saying that- I'm not shedding tears for the jackass, but still. Useless idiot. Well, that's finished. Forget about South Window for now. First, we'll take Green Hill. Will someone here volunteer for command? And former friend volunteering to do even more evil things in three, two, one. Called that one by a mile. I'll take the job, sir. Hmm. Don't be so confident. This isn't like the trifling task you accomplished in Muse. Do you really think you can lead a company of warriors? I don't need a whole company. Just 5,000 men. Give me that and the prisoners from Muse and I'll take Green Hill for you. You have absolutely no reason to trust this guy, but you're doing it anyway. That's very confusing. I'm one, on one hand, I want to say maybe he's trying to play the long con or something, but at the same time, he just straight up murdered Annabelle for no reason. So... Interesting. Give it a try, boy. If you defeat Green Hill, as you say, I'll reward you handsomely. But if you're not successful, you'll meet the same fate as your unworthy predecessor. Yes, sir. I understand. <sighs> Real nice seeing him again. Lord Garland, Lord Garland, please get up. Ugh, I got rid of Nami to avoid this, and now you're doing it. I didn't actually get rid of her for that purpose. <laughs> I just thought she had enough screen time. After the battle ended, you just passed out. So, did you sleep well? If you're well enough, go see Lord Mackay. Lord Chu is there, too. Oi. Okay. Always running, always helping. You get the gist. Alright, what's the song and dance number this time? I don't suppose I could get an apology for you being an idiot. Lord Garland, we've been waiting for you. Are you feeling better? Depends on how you define better. Long time no see, Garland. You're a real hero, aren't you? Uh, no, I really honestly feel like I was just in the right place at the right time constantly. I mean, I don't think I... I don't feel like I did anything. I feel like... I feel like eventually the... I don't know. I mean, Fitcher kind of ran around and told people to you know, pull the sticks out of their ass and continue, like, fighting for the town and stuff. I was just kind of there. 
No, without your reinforcements, the Highland Army wouldn't have withdrawn like they did. Again, Fitcher also did that. That and the volunteer army from Cobalt Village. Hey, was that your doing, Lord Shu? All I did was tell them the situation. It was General Ridley's reputation that prompted all of the volunteers to join. Lord Garland, somehow we were able to protect Two River. But the Highland Army still hasn't withdrawn from state territory. Let's fight together. With your help, I actually think we can win this war. I mean, I... I okay, sure. When you need it, you can count on our full support. And another thing, Fitcher. You're fired. What? What? Fitcher's done nothing but good. He looks like a he looks like a shifty dude, but he's actually been pretty good. But but Lord Mackay, I fought too. Well, I didn't exactly fight, but yes, I know you did your best. I'm firing you for a different reason. Where? What is it? Lord Shu asked if I would please lend him your services. He needs your skill to help heal the city state. Instead of Two River, you'll be more useful working for the Unicorn Army. Huh? Uh, okay. In that case, I'm pleased to work for you, Lord Shu. Yes, I'm going to get a lot of use out of that clever mouth of yours. Never underestimate the gift of gab. Of which I do not have. Well, let's go back, Garland. This is a nice town, but we have lots of works to do. Works. We've got lots of works to do. Okay, I'll organize the troops and get back to Boat and Castle. Bot and Castle, whatever. You, work, you can return by boat, Lord Garland. I'm sure Amada's already sick of waiting. Well, I'll see you at home. Okay, boss. Shall we go? I... I guess so. Um... The only things I can think of maybe doing would involve maybe bringing... Gengen with me here? Maybe you can convince somebody in, one, in either... Up there, or apparently in the Cobalt Village around here, where they, you might be able to, like, get more recruits or something. That's my best guess. I suppose off-screen I could just ask... I could just ask Richmond a whole bunch. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hey, Garland, are you leaving already? Indeed I am. Hey, hey, Garland. No, oh, I mean, great leader of the Unicorn Army. See, when it comes from you, it sounds incredibly disingenuous. Will you take me with you, too? Why in the Seven Rings of Hell would I ever do that? <laughs> You're not gonna stay in the town that you apparently love so much? I love this town. That's why, I got, I'm gonna, that's why I'm gonna go. I think if I go with you, it can help end this war quicker. Don't you think? <sighs> well, I suppose if you're working with me, you're not randomly robbing people who enter the town for the first time. Okay. Thanks, leader. Okay, let's go. And then suppose now that you're part of the group, you'd be willing to maybe... Thanks, Slater. Here's the wallet I promised. Oh, thank God. My my wallet. Oh, yeah. I used what was in there. Nyeh. What did you say? Don't get so mad. There was hardly any in there. Wait, you little punk! Noise. All right, well, let's head back to the castle. I want to see what the next, I guess, course of action that we have to go, you know, we, what we got to do next is. Also, I want to talk to, I want to talk to Richmond a whole bunch. I want to figure out, because I've, I've seen like three or four faces, and I don't know how to recruit them, but that guy seems to know a good way of being able to make that happen. Board the ship? Always board the ship. Also, I did hire a bath maker, so I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work out. I'm more than a little curious, if I'm being honest with all y'alls. If I remember correctly, in the first game, the bath you get was just gargantuan. Like, it was next level zonker bonkers big. Like, you could fit like 50 people in that thing. And it was like partitioned for like male and female use. No mixed baths in this place. That being said, I wonder where we would even find it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a fourth floor now? This is new. Oh, yo, yo, good luck. Stay strong. I guess the kobold volunteers decided to stay. Good luck, handsome knight. I am neither of those things. How dare you lie in my face? Interesting. Doesn't seem to be much of a fourth floor, but, uh, I suppose 
progress is progress. Oh, yep, especially when you consider the fact that this was just a big blank slate at one point. Nifty. Oh, damn. I talked to these guys when I was wandering around. They said they were going to make, like, a hanging garden thing. Holy crap, they actually did. Tis a beautiful flower. Oh, Lord Garland, this is wonderful. All the thoughts of battle just disappear from my mind. Hey! Okay! <laughs> well then! Pretty nifty. But I am very curious. Where where can I find this giant bath? Oh, hey! I didn't realize you were going to be, like, chilling with us. Lord Garland, for you, for the Unicorn Army, and most of all, the three great races in Two River. I will fight to the death. Yes, well, let's hope that it doesn't come to that, my dude. Also, I don't think there was this fancy schmancy rug here before. In fact, I don't think there was a way... I don't think there was a hallway over here. Yeah, this definitely looks new. Oh, yeah, they've definitely... Oh, there's just bedrooms and, and lodgings all over the damn place. Holy crap! They went all out in this place. Whoa, hang on a second. Which is that's just a straight-up actual doctor place. No time to rest, and when a doctor's busy, that means things aren't going well. Oh, Lord Garland, I'm helping out Dr. Juan today. That's very good. Whoa, man, this used to just be kind of just like a a busted-up old sty, but now it's got, like, actual things. This place is actually looking like more of a headquarters and not a ramshackle thingamabobber. I don't know, you got anything to say? Did you know that if swallows fly low, it means rain tomorrow? I'm starting to regret asking you to come with us. Yo, Richmond. Yeah, you could say I've got a job for you, my dude. I'll do the bulk of these off screen and just give you the uh, the information later. Let's see, Gabacho, Shilo, Bob, Sid. Yeah, that's a that's a decent. I, are, are these just dudes that I could get, but I I haven't met yet? All right. Well, I mean, I guess we can start with. I don't know, this weirdo. Yeah. I'll figure out what I gotta do, or at least figure out as much as I can from Richmond, and I'll relay the information next time. Also, is this the... No, this looks more like a barracks. Okay, hang on a second. This place has gotten so much bigger! Whoa, what the crap? Where, does all this, where did all this come from? Oh, wait, was this, was this always here and I'm just stupid? I thought this was the place I always exited. But I don't know anymore. I'm so confused. I am so confused. How much of this stuff is new? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I did a pretty good job, Exploratorin. Okay. Okay. This is where they used to hang out, but they've since moved. Anyway, sup, Gen Gen. Gonna have to make sure to bring you along with me. I see they still haven't fixed up this chunk of land yet, but that's okay, that's okay, we're getting there. Why won't they get rid of that stupid tree? Okay, but here's the armorer. That's good. I don't suppose you know of a blacksmith or something. Oh, boy. Looks like they might carry... Roughly just about anything I've already found. Oh my. Definitely gonna have to spend some time upgrading everyone's stuff. Oh boy. Do wish I had a blacksmith though. Okay, okay. Well, here's a question. Here's a question. This place look any different? Any fancier? Uh, not quite. Not quite. But we're getting there, man. We're getting there. Okay, so this place still exists. People have just decided to stop hanging out here. You know what? That's fair. Mm, I can't find the dang bathhouse anywhere. But I will find it, I assure you. Alright, well then just one last thing to do before I sign off for now would be to... Like, yo, what exactly is our next course of action? Anybody know? Yo! Great results, eh, leader? 
Hey, 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 are you okay? You're not hurt? You got caught up in the middle of the fight and over there too, eh? I never get tired of being with Garland. Girl, you thirst! Hello. Looks like she was worried about you too. You sure are popular, Garland. <laughs> well done, Garland. Gaining two river as an ally is a big step forward, but I'm afraid we can't waste time rejoicing. Did something happen, Mr. Strategist? Lord Garland must be tired. I'll explain in detail tomorrow. Everyone get some rest and report to the war room in the beginning. When did we get a war room? I wish he'd tell it to us straight. When did we get a war room? What the? Okay, I guess I sleep up here now. Does anybody know where a war room is? I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you right here. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't know where a war room is. Is this the war room? I guess this is the war room. We've been waiting for you, Lord Garland. So, what's the bad news you promised yesterday? Greenhill has fallen to the Kingdom of Highland. Thanks a lot, Joey. Not again. Greenhill is lost, eh? How'd they take Greenhill while most of their forces were in Two River? The troops that captured Greenhill apparently number only 5,000 men. Wait a second. You can't be serious. Greenhill's got to have at least 7,000 soldiers of its own. You're saying they couldn't beat, defeat a force of only 5,000? I mean, we've done better. <laughs> I have no idea what tactics they used, but they must have been brilliant. Their commander is apparently the leader of Highland's 4th Army and Solon's replacement. This is not a man to be taken lightly. Then what should we do? We can't just stand back and watch. Even with the help of the two river forces, the Unicorn Army doesn't have enough manpower to retake Greenhill. Are we giving up? It appears we'll have to. However, we will get the acting mayor of Greenhill, Theresa, to safety. Or Theresa? Theresa? I don't know. Why? I'm surprised to hear a realist like you say such a thing. The true mayor of Greenhill, Alec Wisemail, has been seriously ill for many years. Therefore, the handling of the city's affairs has fallen to Theresa. In this capacity, she has gained immense popularity and has become something of an icon among Greenhill's citizens. If we can get her out, I'm assuming it's her, out of Greenhill, we can expect the cooperation of the populace when the time comes to retake the city. Likewise, it will simply create more problems for us if the Highland army is able to keep her under their thumb. I see. So Theresa's a major morale booster for the people of Greenhill. So then how are we going to bust her out? Green Hill is essentially a college town, and students have from countries all over the continent come to study there. I don't think the Highland Army's occupation will stop that. Therefore, Lord Garland and a few others will sneak into the city, pose as students, and rescue Theresa. As for how to get in, Fitcher, I'll leave that to you. What? M me, sir? Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose I can. I've got a lot of friends in Green Hill. I'll work something out. Whew, I'm work too hard. When will I be able to get some rest? All right, let's go. Wait a second. Who said you'd come? Yeah, who said you'd come? Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> it doesn't matter how many come since you're meant to be students. Also, only you youngsters should go. It'll make things look less suspicious. Flick, I want you to go with Lord Garland. Me? You'll be their bodyguard and their leader. Me? Their leader? Yay, teacher Flick, teacher Flick. <laughs> Flick's life is a a hard-fought one. Please just don't call me teacher. Okay. In retrospect, I feel like maybe I should have maybe done some of that stuff before I did any of this. That's a mild problem. Oh, well. Please select your members, as Fitcher said. Only those of appropriate school age should go. Also, once you enter Greenhill, you will not be able to change members. Choose carefully. Gotcha. Okay, well, what do you mean by of age? Are you actually... Oh, wow, you actually are borrow, barring older characters. Great. I am. I can bring freaking Muku Muku, though. That's that's something, apparently. All right, then. I'll train up Gen Gen. It's been a long time since we fought in together. I guess Ellie has been hanging for a long time. Wait, why? I can just bring... Sh Wait, I can bring Shiro, but I can't bring... The... That's weird. <laughs> Do I dare? Ugh, might as well. 
Might as well see what he can do, I guess. And that being said... No, I, I gotta stick with Ellie for now. I just... I don't have a lot of long-range fighters, you know what I mean? There we go. That should... be fine for now. Just gonna have to try and make sure everybody's up to code. We'll leave for Green Hill immediately after you've finished your preparations. Meet us at the Green Hill Gates. I have no idea where those are. Lord Garland, Green Hill is north of Two River. Please be careful. North of Two River. Okay. Well, I guess I've got my next goal. And I guess I did. My plan did involve bringing Gen Gen with me anyway, so I guess it's fine. I'll just pal around this place for a while. Uh, upgrade armors and try to find a blacksmith. Stuff like that. If I run into anything that looks like plot pl plot progression, uh, I'll, I'll put the kibosh on it asap -o, don't worry. And everything should work out okay, I think. Anyway, hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll see y'all next time. Whoop whoop.